Natural light is one of the best forms of lighting for any new filmmaker as well as experienced filmmaker. Now, unlike this video, which is filmed with artificial light, natural light is totally different. Now, this fixture here is the Godox SL 60 watt, and I have it on a grid with a modifier uh, just to get it to be a little bit of soft on my skin. I also have an ALMC right up above me using that as a hair light. And then I also have an ALMC in that light uh, just to match up some of the color temperature to produce a good result. But getting back to natural light, you know, using natural light is something that we all as filmmakers should try to perfect as much as possible because there's going to be situations where you don't have use or you don't have artificial light because you may be in a smaller space there may not there may not be room to bring lights or hide lights and so learning certain techniques for natural light can be an awesome asset to your bag of tricks and so the thing i like about natural light is when you're using it to film indoors already there's some form of modification and a lot of times diffusion coming right in to where you're filming. First of all, you have, if you have curtains, sheer curtains um, specifically, they look awesome with natural light. Or if you have like wind, window frames, Venetian blinds, these type of things can create some interesting textures and looks to your subject. So that's one of the reasons I like natural light. Another thing you can do with natural light is if it's not producing the results that you want initially, you can always use a bounce to get more light. Let's say if you're filming to the dark side, but you want a little more um, uh, light on this side, you can take light and bounce it from the side that the light is coming from, bounce that in, or if it's producing too much light, you're not getting the desired results or you're getting too much wrap around of the light, you can simply use a negative fill. That's what I was looking for. But anyway, the thing is natural lighting is something that you're definitely gonna wanna take advantage of. As I said, it's free. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. It's just using it in a strategic way and learning how to modify it. But one thing that you might wanna do if you're gonna be filming in a lot of natural night natural lighting, natural light environments is get yourself a hazer. You know, a hazer, you're, you're seeing hazing in a lot of films that you probably, did, probably didn't even know, but it's what it does is it adds a little bit of texture and atmosphere just into the, um, the light. You know, it enables you to be able to see some light streaks, which is very, very awesome for cinematic results. So that's one thing you wanna do. Um, but if you are using a um, fog machine, which I have, I don't have a hazer right now, I have a fog machine, but a fog machine produces, if not done carefully, can produce just a cloud of smoke. And you don't want that. You want kind of just that subtle haze in the air that just, you know, adds to the film. So guys, go out there and get yourselves a hazer. And I would say just starting out, try a lot of videos uh, with natural light. Now it may um, put a kind of a break in your action because you won't be doing a lot of filming at night if you don't have other lights, but you know, this will just help sharpen you as a cinematographer and learning how to adapt to different situations. And also filming in natural light, certain times a day will yield certain results. So for instance, if you're filming towards the late evening, you're gonna get that golden hour, which is gonna be a nice, a warm light and then if you're filming like in the daytime or the early afternoon you're going to get that harsh light coming in which if you know you want to use that you're going to have to find ways to modify it and adjust it to suit your needs so guys that's pretty much all i have for today i want to appreciate you guys uh thank you for subscribing to my channel i haven't i have seen a little spike in my subscribers and that's great news for me because it you know, alerts me that there's people out there that enjoy my videos and it encourages me to shoot more. So guys, feel free to post your uh, comments down below and also find out where we can look at some of your videos. You know, if you decide to make one or you already have one in natural light, we can all take a look and just pretty much learn from each other. So thanks again, stopping by DJ Feach signing off. Peace.